What's First thing this week, we want to talk about Tampa Bay is the new title town. For the second, the second time in 10 months, Lightning fans celebrated the Stanley Cup victory. And also the third time in 10 months that the area celebrated a pro sports title in general, because you can't forget Tom Brady and the Bucks winning the Super Bowl. So this is all great, but I'm starting to think that the ultimate goal for Tampa Bay athletes is to partake in these boat parades as opposed to winning the actual championship because we all know how big Brady and the Bucks did for their boat parade. And um, of course, not to be outdone, Tampa Bay Lightning outdid them once again because the photos I'm seeing going around social media that are viral is the big dents that are in the Stanley Cup. And, and I mean, <laughs> Annalise, you're a Tampa Bay local yourself, so tell us why is this town somehow up showing everyone else's <laughs> celebrations? What oh, is this? Oh man, Mackenzie. I can confirm that the people of Tampa seem to get more excited about the celebration than they do the actual game. <laughs> there were thousands of people along the Riverwalk enjoying the beer chugging, the cup hoisting. Players were throwing beers into the crowd, spraying people with champagne bottles. It was quite the time in the Bay. And honestly, at this point, it's just standard from here on out. Honestly, I can't hate for that because I know I'd be doing the same thing if it were my teams. But <laughs> moving on to thing number two. So this week, Major League Baseball hosted their annual home run derby at Coors Field. And yeah, of course, the ball did what everyone thought it was going to do. It was going to fly out of the park. But Mets slugger Pete Alonso won it for the second straight time, afterwards declaring himself the best power hitter on the planet. He won a spinning necklace, he won the trophy, but most importantly, he won a million dollars. So here's what he had to say. It's truly, uh, truly a, a dream come true for me because when I was younger, my parents actually let me uh, stay up past my bedtime to watch this. Um, hi guys, thank you. <laughs> to be able to participate is, it's a dream come true and to be able to do it back to back um, it's, it, this is really special for me. I love that quote, Mackenzie. And in 2021, Alonzo will earn just over $676,000 with the Mets. But the first baseman got $1 million, as you said, for being the best at essentially a glorified batting practice. So talk about a very nice commission for a side hustle. Oh yeah, and listen, it's no secret that Pete's a really good baseball player. This is just kind of how it goes in Major League Baseball. You have to write out the early years of your career making, I say quote unquote, not that much money, but before you get paid the big bucks. And Pete will do this arbitration tango for a few of the upcoming seasons, but he will no doubt be getting paid what he is worth. But finally, moving on to thing number three, what is going on with USA basketball? So Team USA basketball is obviously up to a rough start with the exhibition games, having lost both now to Nigeria and Australia. And now, thank goodness, they've rebounded and managed to topple Argentina following those two losses. But there's certainly room for concern. And there's, I guess, I understand that there's such a short turnaround for building team chemistry and then ultimately executing it. But a lot of their troubles definitely in these past few games have just come down to playing defense. What's cracking me up about this entire situation is that videos from the 2008 USA team are resurfacing on social media <laughs> this week of them all at a gas station, downing Wendy's before traveling. I'm talking burgers, fries, frosties, all the fast food that I wouldn't think to eat before competing at the Olympics. Yeah. And then they went undefeated, <laughs> taking home gold that year in 2008. So, hey, who knows? Maybe these exhibition games are just a little bump in the road. They'll get some Wendy's, get it together, and they'll come back better. Hey, sports fans, if you want to watch more sports seriously, be sure to check out these clips right here. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel to see all the great content from us here at USA Today Sports.